starting this episode right ahead. We've been introduced to one of the temple's guardians. These are the creatures you better not have a staring contest with. Like Endermen, except they are far from being shy and peaceful. They swarm the temple, so avoiding them is not an option. Challenge me. Uh uh uh, no mods. With that much security, getting there is challenging indeed. Let's see what nonsense has our friend come up to now. Better not waste under eyes like that. Looks like our hero decided to make a cut right into the boss room. Let's not make any reckless decisions and try using our head. Oh, I'm so humiliated! Three hours of that later. Perfect. Guess I'll regret that later, but hey, uh, there actually is a way to get there like that. You know, if you accidentally end up face to face with an elder guardian, it will be seconds for your soul to be sucked out for waking that long sleeping evil of ocean depths. And if you don't believe me, here is a cow. <laughs> Use the milk to get rid of mining fatigue. And that's how Buster defeats an elder goblin. <laughs> if you can't repeat the process step by step, you might have an issue of finding a wrong tutorial. <clears throat> might also use a good old sword or bow and arrow. Huh, so naive. There are several locations in the temple which are interesting to explore such as this room here, where you can legally obtain sponge. Moreover, if you come back to the boss room and break into the structure in the center, you will find not anything but gold. And that's pretty much it. Was it worth it or not? I don't care, I had to show this like six years ago. Let's get back to our so-called camp and prepare to move on. <laughs> God damn it. Let's pack the findings and move northeast. Better not leave anything important behind, or anything cheated in your case like the roof. <laughs> and as always, wonderful job, idiot! You lost your only mean of land transport, not mentioning a friend. Was it even worth it? I don't know, we'll see later, maybe. Now get ready, cause we have a long long journey ahead before we reach the Woodland Mansion. Wah! <laughs> 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 
I didn't waste the whole day to remain hungry. Moving on, we enter the mountains, where we could have met goats. But unfortunately, they can be viewed right here, except for one being you. That wolf could have eaten that sheep. Beneath the mountain there is taiga, there is mushrooms and many other interesting things, which we will show once this idiot realizes there is a hole in his pants. Hey, calm down, no one's attacking you, you're standing in a spiky bush. You can collect berries from it and eat for a revenge. Hmm, there are a lot of mobs to meet. Foxes are natural inhabitants in Taiga. Very notorious for sleeping at daytime, stealing things. What the fuck, Mojang? Luckily, things they steal can be exchanged back uh, for berries usually. <coughs> They're also found having some junk you can <coughs> trade for. Hey, why did the chicken cross the road? <coughs> but some person boss wanna be. Didn't let it die the natural way. Starting from here, east is where we shall go. And judging by the forest to the right, populated with dark oak and uh, other. A little pavilion done in the form of a mushroom and so detailed that you could have easily mistaken it for a real mushroom. Uh -huh. <sighs> what a jerky design preference. Uh, and the dark wood ends right here in a Russian, I mean, birch forest. There is nothing interesting here except for this of the valley. Entering the snowy biomes, there is not much to say, but holy creep, what's that? Now that's an interesting way to warm up. That used to be a big ass portal. What the heck is an ass portal? This one has crying obsidian, you may collect it, but that's a topic for another episode. Looks like the sun is going down. We need to find a place to sleep somewhere. Oh, perhaps a village right in the shot. Nope, this doesn't look like a bed. This isn't either. I think there is one here. Our viewers wouldn't tell by now, but actually, we're already 5k blocks away from our house. Leaving the snowy places, we enter the snowy once again. Until we're back in the ocean. Keep an eye on anything unusual. There's two things you can find, and it's either treasure or yourself being lost. We have found a, a death sentence. <laughs> Quick, get out from the boat! Do you want to become a cat soup? Get out! Do you know what was that? Listen, I'm not a geologist, but I think we can cut the crap to the point where there is a thing in the ocean that sucks! Anyway, we're in a swamp now. The dirt is by of them all. You might as well bring a bag of soap here. And speaking of which, here is a slime. Let it not confuse you. As cute as it seems, it's a hostile mob. These are just too small to do damage. They can only spawn on the surface when it's full moon, which there totally is. And I totally didn't populate this one myself for the sake of tutorial.
Uh, are you sure this isn't an edible mushroom? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is totally a pavilion. But for Renderman. Okay. This forest, hopefully, is where we find the damn mansion. And I suspected no such luck. To think of, we should have explored this current episode. And even after 80% of the footage was cut due to raining like 24 times an hour. Ugh, never mind. Let's just take a rest and try our luck the next day. Uh, let's put ourselves a lullaby. episode came earlier thanks to our director's pocket that funded the production. Doing so, however, is always risky due to many factors including YouTube limiting ads. And so now, you can improve the production efficiency yourself by becoming a patron. Look for the link in the description.